Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards, and in this video, I want to show who you think the best grading companies are. This last week, I was gonna make a video about which grading company is the best, which is great. I've done it before, and I think there is time for me to do another. I'll probably make one in the future, but I wanted to ask you guys on Instagram first what you thought about each grading company, which type of grades you preferred, and I have all the answers in this video. I wanna show what the masses believe about grading and how that can impact what you should buy. I basically did some Instagram polls. I asked them who their preferred grading companies are in a series of polls, and it gives an idea of the grading landscape as a whole. Let's just jump right into it. I'll move quickly because I asked a lot of questions, but it will give you a good idea of what not just me, but what your fellow collectors believe about grading. So the first question I asked was, do you like PSA? Pretty simple. And I'm actually surprised how many people said yes. I'm actually pretty surprised by that because on a lot of my YouTube videos, people will sometimes bash PSA. I think that's totally understandable. A lot of people are, are frustrated about wait times and turnaround times, whatever you want to say, but people overall like them. 91%. You have 329 and yes is only 33 for no. That's pretty obvious. People still have a very good sense about PSA. And you can see actually down here that a lot of people actually answered this question. So there's some pretty good responses there. The next one is, do you have PSA graded cards in your collection? So you can see 91 said they like it and 97% says yes, they have at least one PSA graded card in their collection. 361 for yes, 11 for no. Even more crazy to me that that many people who don't love grading still have it because I like grading. I think it's important to get a true value of your cards, but a lot of people still look at it, even if you don't love it, as a necessary evil of part of modern collecting. Next question about Beckett grading services. Do you like BGS? Still relatively high, 84% said yes. I was pretty surprised it was even this close compared to PSA. What was it, 84 versus 91? So that's not a big difference. A lot of people are kind of coming back around on Beckett grading services, BGS, I believe. And you can see 318 for yes, 60 for no. Same question, do you have any BGS graded cards in your collection? 79% said yes which is interesting because 84% view them favorably while only 79% of people actually own them. And I think that could be because a lot of the new people in the hobby, when they first get in, they hear from Gary V or whoever else is giving them this information that PSA is number one by PSA, so they do, but they learn to like Beckett as well, which is nice. Now we have SGC. I did actually ask this question in the past and it was not this positive, but a lot of people, even slab stocks, they're starting to be partners with SGC. I don't bash SGC. I think they're a great third option. I like the other two better, but they're a really good third option. And so do you like SGC? 64% said yes, which is, which is pretty good. 238 yes and 133 for no. So there's still quite a few people who don't like SGC. Makes sense. Do you have any SGC graded cards in your collection? Only 53%, so basically half said yes, which until again, this last six months, I did not have any in my collection. Now I probably have 15 to 20% of my collection that's graded is in an SGC case, and I have Summit grading right now. I have a couple Aaron Judge rookie cards. So pretty cool. I think this big trend towards SGC is pretty obvious what happened. You know, Beckett and PSA actually closed. SGC still had really low prices in comparison at $30 compared to where PSA was at $150 when PSA actually opened back up. So makes sense. They're starting to get some room in the hobby. Do you like CSG? This one surprised me. So CSG is the grading company. CGC is the other trading card game company. And this is like the primary grading company for money. I don't know how to say a bit of that, like actual coins and paper bills. They're one of the primary grading companies. They're okay in other industries as well. Graded comics, I believe they're really big, but sports cards, they are not <laughs> too popular. 351 for no, 29 for yes, basically the opposite of PSA. PSA was 91% yes, CSG is 92% no, and there's not been a lot of really good press about CSG. They came out and their prices were expensive. Their cases, they're very clear, which is nice, but they get damaged easy, which isn't nice, they get scuffed, and their label is really big. It takes up a good portion of the case. The card actually sits lower in the case, and so even though it looks like the case is really tall, it's about the same size as other grading companies. They just have a really big label able to stay true to the rest of their lines of graded items. So 
That's where that came from. I didn't ask if people owned it because I knew they didn't, besides maybe 10%. And then we have HGA. Do you like HGA? For how much love I see on HGA across the internet and on people's stories on Instagram, not many people actually like HGA in comparison to the other top three grading companies. 74% said they do not like HGA, which I just bought an HGA Clayton Kershaw Bowman Chrome Autograph, and it's fine. Like, if I could cross it, I probably will and would if I wanted to resell it. Where it's a card I'll probably keep for 10 years, I don't care. It's an HGA case but overall that was interesting 100 versus 288 no they don't like it that much same thing as csg i did not ask if you had it in your collection so now we're getting into would you rathers here's the first one what would you rather have a bgs 95 or a psa 10 remember these are both considered the gem mint grades for each company they're considered equal according to each other's grading standards psa might not agree that they're equal but regardless beckett thinks they're equal to PSA in regards to how hard the card is being graded. And the consumers, us, me, you, we don't agree with that. 349 for PSA 10, 48 for BGS 95. It'd be interesting if I'd have asked True Gem Plus, meaning all four of the subgrades are 95s or better, if that would have affected it, because people might be considering a minimum gem, which is like three 95s and a nine. Who knows? What would you rather have, a PSA 10 or a BGS 10? So BGS has a little bit different grading spectrum. They have a 9.5, which is their gem mint, equal to PSA. That's PSA's top grade. BGS has a 10, where three of the four subgrades are a 10, and that's considered pristine, meaning it's just a better condition card. They give it a little bit extra love, and then they actually have a black label where everything is a 10. It means it's like perfect, basically. It's the black label, different look overall. So people still prefer BGS 10s, but it's interesting that 26% still would rather have a PSA 10. I think there's a lot of people who just like PSA, whether that's veterans in the hobby or new people to the hobby, doesn't matter. They just do. That's just how it is. What would you rather have, a BGS 95 or an SGC 10? Those are each company's gem mint grades as well. BGS 95 easily won the argument. SGC 10 doesn't have the 10 grade on there but BGS easily took that away from them. What would you rather have, an SGC 10 or an HGA 9.5? This is where it gets interesting. So you'll see, majority of people do not want an SGC 10 if the BGS is an option, but people definitely do not want an HGA 9.5 if an SGC 10 is an option. It just shows how SGC still has a ton of room to really gain, or they, they gotta get back. If they wanna become a top three competitor in this industry, they really gotta catch up to SGC. So they're really far back still, and they had a lot of hype coming in, and I don't have any negative things to say about HGA right now. I only have one card with them, I haven't actually graded, so I'm not the expert here. But regardless, people still are not seeing them as an equal to their competitors. What would you rather have, a BGS 9.5 or an HGA 9.5? You can see it's even more obvious people want the BGS gem mint card. Makes sense. What would you rather have, an HGA 9.5 or a PSA 9? I thought this would be a lot closer because you know it's that 9.5 gem mint grade, but PSA 9 still easily take over the HGA 9.5. It's not really even close. 87% said they'd rather have that PSA 9. Would you rather have a BGS 9.5 or a PSA 9? This one, if you see the HGA 9.5 versus PSA 9 and you think, okay, well, BGS has to be close to a PSA 9. It's not. 84% <laughs> still want a BGS 9.5, which makes me really, really happy because the price gap is actually getting really close between both grading companies. BGS 9.5 to PSA 9, that is, they're basically almost the same price. You can get a Bryce Harper Bowman Chrome Autograph BGS 9.5 for $1,000 or a PSA 9 for $899 or $900. You know, there's a 10% difference there, which it should be significantly more because BGS 9.5 is a better condition card than PSA 9. You could argue a minimum gem. Again, if there's one nine, three nine five subgrades, you could argue that is equal, but I still don't think it is. I've seen a lot of those cards crossed over to PSA 10s and it's just subjectivity from people like me and you on any given day-to-day -day basis. That's how grading works, whether it's perfect or not. Final two questions. What would you rather have, an HGA 9.5 or a CSG 9.5? Which I thought was interesting that CSG still, you know, has some room to grow at HGA 9.5, but 67% still would rather have an HGA 9.5. When you compare that to these results, you see that CSG, it has so far to come. And I think CSG could be around for longer than a lot of these other companies because they have such a big parent company behind them. I don't think they're going anywhere. You know, it's just a, not costing them that much to have a small division for sports cards. And I think they'll be around for a while. I think they'll catch on a little bit, but right now they are not the favorite at all. And the final question of the video, what would you rather have an SGC 10 or PSA 9? This is a good one to end on because SGC 10 again is a gem mint grade. According to SGC standards, a PSA 9 is just mint. 
And so I would take an SGC 10 all day over a PSA 9 myself, but some people just like the PSA label and look and reputation of the company and guarantee from the company that if the card gets damaged while it's encased, then they will refund you the price of the card and all these different things that people like about PSA. So overall, those are the results from my polls. PSA is one, BGS is two, and I think BGS is starting to get more popular again. They weren't popular for a minute there, but they're, they're getting some love back, which is good. SGC is three, HGA is four, and then we have CSG is five. There's a lot of other companies like BCCG, GMA, FCG, and an actual FCG owner of the grading company is a really nice guy. I've spoken to him before. Uh, and they're starting to become pretty popular because there's some nice cards graded, but they don't have a market share yet to where I think it'd be fair to put them against these companies, so I didn't include them. Same with a couple other smaller grading companies. But if you stick to those big three, BGS, PSA, SGC, then you'll be okay. You could go to HGA, you could go to CSG, but your best bets with those top three. Anyways, guys, let me know if you like these type of videos in the comments below. I can always do more of them to see what you think, not just what I think. And other than that, I will catch you in the next video. I don't know why my left ear is so red. Just know I am aware. <laughs> no need to point it out in the comments.